Hello everyone. This tutorial series will fetch you knowledge on Atmel Studio IDE and AVR microcontroller. In this lecture, we are just going to discuss about the peripheral structure and communication protocols of the microcontroller that we are going to use throughout this course. The microcontroller is at Mega 16, which is a 8-bit microcontroller and let's get started. So the first and foremost peripheral is GPIOs. They are used for interfacing input and output devices to the microcontroller. And we have four different GPIO ports available in our microcontroller. And the second one is timers. We have three different timers in our Atmega 16 microcontroller. They are timer 0, timer 1 and timer 2. Timer 0 and timer 2 are having one output compact channels and timer 1 is having two output compact channels and one input capture channel. Nextly, we have 10 bit ADC module in our microcontroller which is used for converting analog signals into digital format. Totally, we have 8 different analog channels through which you can perform this analog to digital conversion process. As the three timers in our microcontroller is having at least one of the output compact channel, you can use those channels for generating PWM waves of required frequency and duty cycle. And we have totally three external hardware interrupts INT0, INT1, and INT2, through which interrupts can be triggered from external source to the microcontroller. And we have inbuilt EEPROM of 512 bytes, which is used for storing non volatile data while functioning. And the communication protocol supported by this microcontroller is USART, Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface, and Two Wire Interface or I2C, that is Inter Integrated Communication. So, these are the communication protocols and peripheral structure of the microcontroller at Mega 16. And we will see how we can use this peripheral of this microcontroller and how we can establish communication between this microcontroller and other devices from the upcoming lectures. Thanks for watching.